welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm talking about my thoughts on The Flash. And, I mean, as a whole it's a great show. It's probably my second favorite one behind Arrow. Um, yeah, it was really good. With my order of favorites. So first it's season two which is the best. And then it's season one. And then season six. Then season three. Then season five. Then season four. Because all of them were great seasons. But, yeah. In season five and season six, the overall season... Well, season six, the overall season was pretty good, especially the first half. But, like, season five, the overall season might not have been the best. But they had a lot of really good individual episodes, like the King Shark vs. Girl Ride episode, that was amazing. And like, season 3, like, the finale wasn't great, but like, the whole concept of them having to change their own future was really good, and it pretty much worked until, at like, the finale time. But, this is also a little blurry, but, as you can see, you can see the poster they made for The Flash, and it looks pretty good. Um, well, that's, and then right here, there's one for Iris, which is very, like, there's a lot of mirror stuff, so, like, you can get more of her mirror thing that, you know, what was teased last season, that they're probably going to explore more this season, but probably not too much, but at least a little bit, and here is an image of very pretty typical just showing him in the new suit which looks pretty good but I'm excited for the new season because there have been a lot of talks about it in the first three episodes they're going to continue with the mirror mistress stuff and then they're going to have more episodes with another villain and then more episodes with another villain and we can have some more returning characters, so they did confirm that Jay Garrick is alive, but we're not sure quite how. So hopefully this season they can try to explain that with Crisis, you know, how to be alive. Um, and then here is a set image that from when they're filming episode three, so when they defeat Mirror Masters. And Cisco's in a lot of technology, so like maybe there could be a tech version of uh, Vibe or something, or just like all kinds of tech. They can use it to defeat and kill her frost is back which is interesting because she wasn't originally supposed to be until the new season but i guess it is the new season and then there's a couple returning villains you know top will probably be in like the first new episode which will be interesting and she'll have an interesting thing with cecile um and she'll have an encounter with mirror masters probably like, a fight of some sort but i don't know uh, but it's, like, she was an interesting character, which they use more, which I guess they are now. And then, of course, Godspeed is returning, and they did confirm that he is one of the main villains, but I'm assuming he's going to be the one in the middle between Mirror Masters and the other one. <coughs> um, and, yeah, like, we'll be that, that middle one, and we'll probably help defeat the main villain. But if you ask me, I think the main villain should be Raijin, you know, the head of Black Hole. Um, and just, yeah, I, I can go into some videos going over that more, but I think that's what it should be. Um, and like, yeah, because they, they could slowly kind of set him up with Mirror Mistress, maybe she name drops him in her defeat. And then Godspeed may have something to do with him, and I think Godspeed is going to be the infinite velocity thing of course and like you know he made all of those clones which I mean that is his ability he can make clones uh and I think that he's gonna be like you know running out of speed and so like he's trying to get all the speed and he's you know that like, he stole some from Barry and stuff one of, the, one of the clones stole some from Barry and stuff um and I feel like Barry's gonna get the new speed force running and he's gonna find out about it and he's gonna want to use it 
and he eventually does get it, but then the Flash defeats him. And it's not going to be August Hart that did say that, but it'll be interesting to see what they do with him, because he's interesting. And then here's a set photo where he has a device on his head that looks a lot like the device he uses to stop Grodd like, to, from getting his mind, which is interesting because here is, I'm assuming, the villain of the week for I think it's episode 5 or 6 um, that they're filming, and it does look pink in this image, but it's actually red, and the director of the episode was shouting to Barry after while he's on the ground that he's in a nightmare that he can't escape and he's uh and so like I'm pretty sure that this is like a nightmare inducing villain that will be doing mental tricks on Barry and the episode that he's in is entitled Fear Me what's I think this episode he's in but also um Emperor Cadaver is returning in an episode, and he's probably going to mess with his mind a bit too. But this was in the same episode as the Nightmare Guy, and it was like a weird Roman guy who like killed a couple people and like pumped his arms in the air and shouted. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe it has something to do with one of Barry's nightmares or something. I don't know. But. This is going to be it for this episode because there is a lot of information about the Flash, but those are more like better for separate videos. So I am going to end the video here, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, goodbye.